Y'all gotta see this. I was walking through the jungles of South America the other day, and I found a Goliath bird-eating tarantula. Tazin, if you would do the honors. Absolutely, man. Here we go. Ready? Yes. So, the Goliath bird-eating tarantula is one of the largest spiders in the Americas, with a leg span of roughly 11 inches. As you can see, it... Tazin? Yeah. Where's the tarantula? Uh, about that. A funny story. So, we were hanging out, and, you know, he looked at me, and I had this epitome. I'm like, you know, all animals should be free, like you and me. So I let him out for a bit. He said it was cool. You let the tarantula out of the cage? He said he'd be back by noon. Um, um, Bobo, play, play the intro. Tassin, we are finding this tarantula. See you uh, later. Um, maybe he's under. Hey everybody, I'm Animal Boy, and welcome to Animal Atlas! Yeah, um, to be perfectly honest with y'all, that tarantula was supposed to be today's guest star. So instead, we will be interviewing the culprit, Tazin, the Tasmanian Devil. But first, I believe reality needs to be checked. I'm Moki. This is Space Penguin. We are inventors and scientists, dead set on exposing the truths of reality. Yes. This is... Reality, reality Checkers. Checkers. So, what reality are we checking today, Space Penguin? Why don't I check to see what reality we're checking today? That's, that's what I said. Thank you. Here's one. Oh. Patricia Wormson asks... If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, of course it makes a sound. What kind of question is that? Sound is not relative to people's ears. Hmm, maybe. Yes, it's not maybe, it's a fact. It's a scientific well, fact. Well, just in case I have a way to test this theory. You do? I need you to go to the forest. Fine, but just for the record, me being there ruins the entire experiment. A few minutes later. What do I do now? I'm going to have my friend Mr. Beaver cut down the tree. Then you can tell me if you hear anything at all. Remember, it's for science. Fine. But only since it's for science. He's probably not even going to do it anyway. Timber! Mookie? Mookie? Did it make a sound, Mookie? Hello? Mookie? There you have it, Patricia. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, Mookie will not make a sound. Oh, how I love science. Today on Mr. Monster Does Something, Mr. Monster looks for the missing tarantula. Ah, I've been demoted to Aaron Lord? That's it. I'm not doing this sketch anymore. You know what? I am doing this sketch. I got nothing else to do. Well, he's not behind the couch. He's not under the couch. He's not on the couch. Where is it? Ah! Ah! Get off! Get off! Get off! That's it! I'm getting my mallet! That was Mr. Monster Does Something. You know, this day would be going very smoothly if someone, and I will not be naming names, had not let the tarantula out of its cage. Yo, animal dude, I mean, we could sit here all day and bicker about who let out what and why and where, but at the end of the day, you know what it is? What? We're all just beings. We're all just one in the universe. We're all Ooh. just one. Except for the other numbers. They're not just one. <laughs> but everyone else is just one. Yes, comment down below what number you are, folks. Everyone, please welcome Tazin, the Tasmanian Devil. Hey, how you doing? It's great to be here. Thanks to all my fans who've been wanting me to do this interview. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you've been on the show for two years now, and we have never covered Tasmanian Devils as a full-length episode. It's okay, I just thought you didn't care. I'm so hurt about this. We've been through so much together. We've been through the zoos. We went through the hat and the cat. All the more reason, but that's okay. Um, okay. Let's just start this interview. What is a Tasmanian Devil? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I am a Tasmanian Devil, but in the wild, yes. they're a little bit different. Ooh, how so? Just picture a black shih tzu... Ferociously shot out of a cannon. What? Screaming at the top of its lungs and biting through bones. That is a 
horrifying thought. Yes, that will keep me up at night. Oh, yeah. They are crazy little dudes. Mm Mm-hmm. So, where do you live? Well, actually, Tasmania, believe it or not. (laughs) I guess that's where that part of your name comes from. Yeah, it's a little island off the southern coast of Australia. It's a nice place. Yeah, so if that's where the Tasmania part comes from, where does the devil part come from? Well, funny story about that. Yes. Years ago, explorers visited the land, and they had their dogs with them, and they would hear this screeching and screaming in the night, this awful, awful sound, and they said, that must be the devil out there. Was it? It was. But then they also heard another screaming and screeching, and that was the Tasmanian devils. Whoa. That was us. We can make horrible sounds if we want to. Can you make them right now for the folks at home? No. No, I can't. Oh. I gave it up. Uh-huh. Your boy still has a little rasp from that, I guess. Yeah, I've been a non-screamer for 18 months now. Good for you, Tassin. Thanks. Next question. What do you eat? Well, in the wild, again, they would eat wallabies and snakes and anything kind of they can get their teeth on, you know? Whoa. And they'll chew through it all. Me? Yes? I eat food. Just regular old food. So, like what? Like mac and cheese? Sure, anything you want. I'll eat, I'll eat mac and cheese. Eat a good mac and cheese, and I'll eat it fast, because I'm, uh, we Tasmanian devils, we had to learn to eat fast, because otherwise someone else will get your carcass. What are some fun facts about you that you haven't mentioned yet that the folks at home might want to know? Well, when I'm around, it's a party all the time. But uh, fun facts about Tasmanian devils, huh? Yes. Well, let me see. Oh, I got a good one. We are the largest marsupial that's carnivorous in the world. The largest marsupial that's carnivorous. Well, that's hard to say. Try saying that five times fast. That, 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 that. It's really easy, actually, man. Oy. Okay, uh, I was sort of walking into that. Anything else? Uh, yeah, you know that Star Wars movie where Han Solo sleeps inside his tauntaun? Yes, that was quite terrifying. That was stolen, man. From who? From the Tasmanian devils. The, the That's what? what Tasmanian devils will do. They'll, they'll kill something to eat it, and they'll sleep inside of it. And then in the morning, it's simple. You just bite some of your wall for breakfast. I'm getting so many nightmares from this interview, but hey, nightmares sometimes mean knowledge. And it's that's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. <laughs> okay, well, I'm good for you. It's just how they do it, you know? Yes. Are you found in any zoos? Actually, it's pretty interesting. We are Ooh. found in the Australian Zoo and a lot of zoos in Australia. If you want to see devils and other Australian animals, that's the place to go. Yes. Australia. That Australia, the Australia Zoo specifically, that is the Steve Irwin Zoo. And I've always wanted to go there. Tassin, if we ever visit your homeland, will you take me? Oh, for sure. And there's Yay. also a better zoo, I think. Well, my, it's my personal opinion. Ooh. The Unzoo. The, the Unzoo, Unzoo is in Tasmania. And people are underground. The animals are above ground. And people walk along and they see these little, like, tubes and they look up them. And then up there we are. It's like we're not in cages. That's why they call it an unzoo. That is so meta, my friend. That is meta on meta on meta. I think it's an unzoo because the people are actually the characters, and we are looking at them. Weird. Now it's time for the uh, the sad part of the show. Yeah. Why are you endangered? Well, it's actually really sad. There's this thing called devil facial tumor disease. It's a contagious cancer. It affects a lot of devils. It causes these large facial tumors, man. It's actually caused the death of two-thirds of all devils since 1996. That, that is awful. I am so sorry about that. It's really bad. Man. Yes. How can we help? How can we help save the Tasmanian devils for many years to come? Well, there is hope, you know. I don't believe in capitalism. That's why I don't capitalize any of my letters. <laughs> but there are places you can donate to. Really? Like oh, what? yeah, like the University of Tasmania. Okay. They're currently working on a vaccine for this disease. Oh, that would be very handy. Very, very handy. Yes. And otherwise, there's also the Tasmanian Land Conservancy. They're great people, too, and they're working on stuff, too. Yes. As always, with these videos, links down below to help save these animals. Where is down below? I can't... Well, it's, it's in the YouTube description. Whoa. Yes. Well, that's the interview. Have a good day, and remember, folks... The tarantula! The tarantula! He's right there! He's right there! Come on, bugger! Feel the wrath of Mjolnir! Mr. Monster, no! We need him for next episode! Run! Be free, my friend! Born free! As free as the devils! Run! Run! You got it! Good night, everyone.